Hello folks, this is your blockchain guy Shikhar. Welcome to another interesting video on blockchain games. Before we start, let me know when was Game 5 mentioned for the first time. As per your knowledge, do leave your answers in the comments. The term DeFi has been well known in blockchain space and its merger with games have brought GameFi into existence. That's how the gaming tokens came into the picture that you see on screen. There are approximately 13,000 tokens listed in CoinGecko. Some well-known protocols like Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Stepin had nominal drops in acquisition of a user during this bear market. Whereas you would be aware the other alt tokens have dropped merely by 90% or even more and gone to zero. This does say gamers are interested in P2E model that is play to earn, which for now has been overrated according to my belief. You can drop your inputs, whether it's overrated, underrated. But to bring one such token, I would want to introduce Fury, Fan Fury, they call it, which has gained some prominence and some attraction in the Cosmos, Juno, Terra community in the past few months and years. They have some done some good announcements and very recently they have also listed themselves on an MEXC exchange. This is their official Twitter account. I believe after going through their tokenomic structures, how they have detailed it out, it does give a stronger belief that gaming tokens can do well and are resistance to bull and bear trend if they manage their tokenomics properly. Certainly that's the question here. Say Stepin has also been doing good, but it has gone down because there is too much of tokens now into the market, the governance token, and they fail to recuperate how to ensure that this particular phenomenon can be handled to control their value of a token. I believe whereas the Fan Fury team has set their structure in a manner where they call themselves deflationary. We'll talk a bit more on this. This Fury token launched on MEXC yesterday and it's fairly trading at three and a half cents around that and its peak has been close to six cents after it started from one, 1 1.5 cents. And it's not very old and I would recommend do your own research and see if you would want to get into MEXC and get some tokens. This can be your chance to grab this token so cheap as when they launch in August their gameplay by which they mean they are going to burn their tokens. And that's what they mean by deflationary in nature. And with my research around, I have seen this kind of a model put in a picture where every 8 hours, 24 hours, there is a burning mechanism carried out. And that's humongous. Today, it's at 3.5 cents. It don't take a lot of time to go higher. What does this deflationary mechanism also guarantee? That as the time passes by, there will be lesser and lesser number of tokens in the market for the users to play the game or hold the, those tokens or even stake those tokens. Their revenue models are also very low in the industry which keeps them at 5% rake fee. This really ensures that DraftKings, Hala Play, Dream11, MPL, fantasy sports players who are on so rare 
or DEF 11 as well might move to this particular application post the launch. And that should certainly guarantee very soon they should be reaching dollar one. I would like to hear from you your reviews and your viewpoints on the same. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.